Hey guys, welcome to this very special episode of College Eats. We are interviewing a special guest, Tracy Long, today, and she is the CEO of Avocado. Yes. So could you um, tell us a little bit about your company? Um, my company is a local, in the Syracuse area, baked good company. We produce artisan baked goods that all contain avocado. So that. they offer some added health benefits over your traditional cookie and recipes. Awesome. So what are those health benefits? The health you benefits, eat the avocado cookie? they include lower saturated fat, lower cholesterol because avocados contain no cholesterol, um, higher potassium, higher fiber, and lower total fat. Nice. So our whole show is about baking and we love baking. Um, being with my nutrition background, we always like to bring in the health benefits, but it's sometimes hard. Um, how did you kind of figure out the recipes, including avocado instead of butter and oils and the original ways that people mostly cook? What happened was I decided I wanted to try to make the cookies, bars, brownies, anything that I made healthier. And I started researching and finding that you could substitute with items such as prune butter. I don't know if you've ever heard of that. I have not. Never heard and of it. applesauce. Oh, yeah, um, we use applesauce sometimes. We made banana bread with applesauce. Right. Yeah. And I found my preference is a more doughy, like dense cookie bar or brownie. And the applesauce, and maybe you know from experience, will traditionally give it a very light, cakey, airy texture. Yeah. So just through process of elimination, I had tried all of those different alternate items and did not like the result. And in eating avocado and reading about it, I decided to try that in there and I liked the result, so I've continued. Great. Do you think the avocado enhances the cookie? Nutritionally, I think yeah. it enhances it. <laughs> and the avocado seems to really adopt the flavors of whatever items are in there. Or You know, it doesn't have a strong enough flavor that people taste it and say they can taste avocado. People are usually shocked and say they can't even tell that it is in there. Interesting. Yeah, we tried making a smoothie and put some avocado in it and mm -hmm. we thought it was going to taste kind of weird, but you couldn't even tell. Yes, I think the other yeah. flavors tend to dominate the flavor of the avocado. It just adds a creaminess and a richness. Great. What's your favorite thing that you make, your favorite item? That's a tough one. <laughs> <laughs> one of my favorites is our chocolate peanut butter cookie, so it's a chocolate-based cookie with peanut butter chips, but I also really love the brownies. Brownie. They're really fudgy and dense. Nice. Wait, so how long have you been doing this for? I have been baking with these ingredients. We also use whole grains, no white flours, and no highly refined white sugars. Um, I've been baking with that type of ingredient for about six or seven years personally, and with products out in the market since last June, so June of 2014. Great. And so how did you decide to like start this? Did you were you kind of just always cooking with these healthier ingredients? You just decided people like these, I want to sell them, or what happened? That is exactly yeah. what it is. I started to see I think that people are becoming more conscious of their health and what they're putting in their bodies, and just across the board, people seem to be more concerned about food products and health is trending. People aren't going and grabbing that processed food as much, so I decided that I would try to sell it and put it in the market because I found that I was seeing that it was happening more and more. Yeah, and I've seen your products at the regional farmers market and at Cafe Cabal. Um, how have they been doing, so, like They're, business wise? They've so, been really well received. Yeah. Um, certain spots, I think, depending on the location, but there are some stores. We are in Nature Time as well, and Lofo downtown, and oh, and even some gyms, which is a neat spin on baked goods. Urban Life Athletics has them in there, and they do really well at a lot of those spots. We go through quite a few, and I bump into people frequently that say they've had them or they've seen them and they like them. Okay, so is this only in the Syracuse area for now? At this time, our plan is to expand outside of Syracuse, and there is online ordering, so there is the ability for the product to go anywhere in the country if somebody wants to order. I know the online ordering is a new thing. Yes. So how are, how are you going about that? We have added an online shopping cart. So every product that we offer is offered online for purchase, and then it will be shipped Great. to the party that orders it. How many different items do you have as of right now? 
On a rolling basis, we have approximately 15 items. Okay. We try to always have a seasonal item. So that comes and goes, but then it is replaced with another item. And then we have some staple products that are always there. Do you have any seasonal items coming up for springtime? I do not have anything chosen for spring yet. Our current seasonal is a vegan, paleo, gluten-free pecan pie bar. Mm, that yum. is just sweetened with dates and maple syrup. So that is really doing well. It might actually end up staying because people are loving it. That's really great. I love how you incorporate all like whole natural foods into a typical like food that would usually not be healthy at all because that I feel like people still need to have that like bit of sweetness. Mm -hmm. um, it's hard to cut it all out. And so it's great that you found a way to make it nutritionally like really good. Thank you. Yeah, that great. was the goal to try yeah. to preserve the taste and satisfy the sweet tooth, but have it not be as bad for you. Nice. nice. Um, so our show, um, just to tell you a little bit about it, we do healthy recipes for college students. Mm -hmm. So I kind of wanted to ask you, what advice would you have for a college student who's trying to eat healthy on a budget? <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of a hard question. <laughs> it is. I think what I have found, speaking of the regional market, and I know now is not the time of year for it, but I recently discovered it myself. I have not always lived in this area and never had that resource, but going to the regional market, you could come home with a ton of fresh produce, for a really reasonable mm -hmm. price. And I think that with that, they could probably stretch a dollar. And if they have the means to produce it or cook it, or even microwave, if you have squash, you could microwave that, that would go yep. far. And um, again, on the healthy spin, just substituting stuff. I think you could keep it on a budget while still utilizing some healthy ingredients like Greek yogurt, you can do a lot with that. Yeah, we love Greek yogurt. Mm -hmm. Pretty much every we, episode. Every episode has we Greek probably yogurt. use Greek yogurt as a substitute for something. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you can use it in lieu of sour cream or mayonnaise. Great. Or avocado, I guess that's not the cheapest substitute, but <laughs> Yeah. It, but it tastes good. Right. Yeah. Enhances the flavor. Great. Um so I know you brought some products. I wanna maybe we can just look at these. So you have the fudge brownie. Um, vegan gluten free chocolate raspberry bar with walnuts. Yes. Oh, oh my god. Great. You want to see something? Yeah, I'll hold on. What, are these, uh, what is your favorite of these ones? This is our Cran You Handle It, we call it. It's a cranberry almond <laughs> white chocolate chip cookie. That is our most popular flavor. Yeah, that um, sounds delicious. That looks awesome. Everybody. And that is the, this is the vegan gluten-free pecan pie bar. And again, oh, this so is very popular very right popular now. One. Yes. Great. Uh, my favorite right now it might be this one. And I am not vegan, gluten-free, or paleo. <laughs> so it's nice. Yeah, I think wow. it's great that, you know, people often say gluten-free has a different texture or flavor, but the response I get is that my gluten-free is very moist still and has good flavor. Well, I can't wait so to like try these. Yeah. yeah, me too. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you guys for having me. Yeah, and we'll have um, links on our Facebook page so you can order these awesome looking uh, cookies here. Okay. Thank Thanks. you, guys. Thank you.